And we're back with some more raft. And right now we're headed towards that blue dot on the horizon. That blue dot is related to Caravan Town, 2424, which we've got currently set up over here. Now, to power us on our way there, we have made a few changes to the raft. Yeah, we have, we have a few more uh, beehives over there. But back here, we have ourselves a biofuel container tank, and we have this biofuel refining system. This thing refines biofuel when we chuck it into this tank. Although this pipe here comes out the back and feeds into the engines, so we don't have to feed them wood anymore. Seems to be keeping it quite full. Uh, I also have to seem to put in that wall, but you know, not gonna worry about it. We have also doubled up on water production because, well, we needed more water and it's just more convenient, and that is a lot of barrels. I should have been out here collecting this stuff. But enough of that. Over here is our refinement section, as you can see, and over here we have expanded our bees. Now, it turns out you need... 12 flowers in range of the hives, and by in range, like one tile away. So, just say take this tile right here. We're trying to squeeze in 12 tiles in, in 12 flowers into one tile, and then surrounding it in a bunch of beehives, which is what we've kind of achieved. You can do it with a little bit of squishing. And we have bought ourselves a super mega scarecrow from the caravan shops, or the shops at the top of uh, islands. This thing here never gets killed by the birds, and it keeps them away from all of our crops and our flowers, so we don't need to worry about them bothering us. And then the birds can go sit over there in those nests, and we can kill them. In fact, not only can we kill them, this gives us a whole bunch of raw drumsticks, which we can then use to feed into our biofuel refinery, uh, which spits us out the biofuel, which we feed into our engines. And over here we have the honey that we combine with glass. Uh, let me show you here. This is what fuels biofuel refining. You need, well, two honey. So two honey gets turned into one biofuel, I believe. Now, you just hit craft, it costs you one glass. One glass is made from sand and a bit of wood, but that one glass gives you two honey. And then you stick it in here, you combine it with some food. Now, food-wise, I find drumsticks and shark heads are really, really good. And we have... where is it? Yeah, no, here it was. We had... yeah, we had a bunch of shark heads. Sorry, my bad. Over here, yes, we've got our bear heads, our shark heads, all of the heads, all in here, just so that we can refuel the place as we need it. This has been working out quite nicely. I quite like our new little design. Oh, and the ground floor is sort of empty. We have that for everything we want. Now, we have not reinforced the entire raft all the way around with iron. I tried to do that, but unfortunately it was taking too long. I mean, it just takes ages, and then I ended up spending a whole bunch of the scrap I'd collected on putting in the piping. That piping was super expensive. Each two segments of pipe costs, uh, I think it's three scrap or two scrap or whatever. It costs a lot of scrap. I basically burned through all of our scrap reserves trying to put in the piping. Totally worth it though in the end. Anyway, the main reason we're going to this island now is trash. I was just collecting too much junk. Right now we have several empty batteries and this next island supposedly contains the blueprint for a battery charger, which I desperately need. Oh, and here we go. We just collected three honeycomb out of these. Because they're in range of the correct amount of flowers, or the 12 flowers, you get three honeycomb. If we only had six flowers, we got one honeycomb. I think nine flowers is two or something along those lines. Yeah, I can't remember. Anyway, let's uh, skip it forward a little bit until we get to the island. We've only got 500 meters to go. Land ho! Uh, we're only a couple hundred meters away and... Wait a minute. Is that land? Looks like a shanty town. Uh, one second. Maybe I should have came here during daylight hours. It might have been more dramatic. Oh! Damn it, Bruce. Oh, we should probably hit the stop button. Uh, weigh anchor, please. Yeah, that's about close enough. Perfect. Now, once the anchor is dropped, the engine stop drawing power. Is what it says on the wiki and what everyone's told me. But I'm still turning them off so I don't have to listen to that annoying noise. Right, that looks pretty cool. Now, this must be really hard to see, so I'm going to wait till morning and then we're going to explore this place. Well, that place looks wonderful. Let's, uh, let's go exploring, shall we? And Bruce didn't decide to take a nibble. Good. Uh, what is this place? Bandar Khalif? Kaf well, whatever. And uh, never mind. Pick up battery charger part. Okay, so we're going to need to collect stuff and combine it in some way. In that case, let's have a quick look around here and see if there's anything worth nicking. Boat repairs. Uh, here is... Pick up item. Scrap, hinge, bolt, and a plank. Oh, well, that's great. What else? Don't tell me I'm going to have to open all of these drawers when we go around the place. This is going to annoy the bejesus out of me. I'm going to feel like I'm missing stuff.
No, no, biofuel. Well, yeah, we're probably going to find a use for that. I should really be keeping an eye out for something that's going to try and kill us at some point. And you are not choppable. Grand, grand. We'll figure something out. I'm just going to start exploring around this place and I'll cut back in when something unusual happens. Bees. Bees for days. Excellent. Hey, you guys, come here. I'm here. Damn it. Perfect. Um, that's not going to be enough for a beehive, but hopefully they've got more bees around here. This place just seems to be a warren of all of these buildings, and you have to stop at every single one because all of them contain resources of some sort. So you're like, okay, if I can't skip it. Ooh, biofuel. Now that's totally worth it. I found, what, is that the second piece of bio? Third piece of biofuel. You can't, ooh, cooked potatoes. You can't skip any of them. This is the worst. I'm going to feel like I'm missing out if I don't. Oh, we got a note. What's the bets? It's going to end up a uh, creepy, horrible stuff happened. Ghetto Scientific Journal. Top. Top. Secret. Sanji says the water pump idea doesn't work because there isn't enough space in the well for all the water. Also, the neighbors complain about getting salt in their cups. They complain because they have no patience for science. I asked Pa why we can't fly to another planet without all this water. Pa just laughed. But Sanjay showed me some pictures that gave me a great idea, though. Good man, Sanjay. So, this looks to be a rotationary puzzle. Damn it. Wait, fine, there. Well, this took me a few minutes to figure out. You pump the water out here, it goes into that hose, and then it you have to rotate a bunch of the hoses all the way down. That falls into that, falls into that, falls into that, falls into that. And goes into this well, which we then should be able to get that. Oh, damn it. All right, one more pump. So, what do you got for us? Zipline part. Ooh, I think I've heard about this. You can, like, zip about the place. Okay, that's right. You can fly about the place on wires. So you can... Well, everyone knows what a zip wire is, right? Probably. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, I believe that's our first puzzle solved. At least we didn't have to kill any rats to do it. Sounds like there's a bird around here somewhere. I hate those things. It's not that they're that dangerous. It's just it takes ages to kill them. Oh, well, just uh, going to keep looking. I scavenged so much that daylight hours ran out. And now I'm back to, well, scavenging some more now that the sun is up. I really am a hoarder. I should just... <clears throat> hey, I had a roof over my head. That's just... No. You know what? Let's go kill this guy. Oop, come here. Nice. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll just make more arrows. <laughs> I'm not bothered going down there. Uh, maybe later. I'm sure he despawns at some point. Well, we have found a battery charger part. I think we can see... What we found under T. Yeah, we've got battery charger part and zipline part. These parts, I think, are all from previous missions because of different colors. So, zipline part and battery charger part. Let's see what else we have to find around here before we get, well, whatever it is we're supposed to get, which I presume is the zipline. Hello, crate. Metal ingot. Excellent. I think we can actually craft arrows on the fly. That would be kind of cool. Metal arrows. Yep, you know what? Boom, quick top up. Makes up for all the arrows we lost fighting that bird. Um, well, that's a bummer. We're at the top and there's nothing else. So, keep heading around, I suppose, until we get to whatever that is over there. That looks important. More notes. Sailing as one, the raft towns of Indonesia. The flooding of Jakarta has led to escaping locals creating interconnected rafts as they make their way to land. We just make do, said Putri Reyes, one of the earlier adopters of these raft towns, when inquired by one of our reporters about their living conditions. Drifting largely on sea currents, they appear to be growing at a steady rate, raising considerable concerns with coastal authorities. A maritime hazard in the making, the foreign minister stated this morning in a public address. Despite these concerns, many believe raft towns could very well be a viable alternative. Recent rumours surrounding the construction of sanctuary towers in the Southern Hemisphere has only increased tensions. We sought a comment from the local government. Well, you never gave us your name, but you helped us greatly. May we see you up ahead. Uh, the boy Hillman fought like a man. We could not be more proud. Okay, so these are the hooks of the fallen? Okay. Alia, I held on as long as I could. Please forgive me. Ugh. 
Right. This is uh, super depressing. I presume. Oh, where's three zipline parts? We only have two zipline parts. Damn it! Where's the third zipline part? Speech to the rafters, the seventeenth of May. Fifth draft. Why do you? <clears throat> Why do you think I, Olof Wilkström, left that corrupt city? Because they refused to let regular working class folk on board. I was appalled. Why should the elite get to escape the apocalypse? They should be forced to share their luxury. Olaf, you hypocrite. Who should force them? That's right! The greatest rafters in this new southern sea! You! Take Tongaroa! Take back your future! Ah. Bugger. This looks like the most jerry-rigged thing I've ever seen. Um, no, but we're gonna follow it. Ooh, I have been looking for scrap. Damn it, I'm gonna break the hook if I keep doing this. You know what? Let's uh, let's leave it a bit. We'll go down and find out what's down here. Huh. Maybe there's a diving suit. Pufferfish. Yeah, come here, you. Three shots will take care of him, and we can eat him up. I've been advised to keep his heads for some reason. Don't know why, but uh, I have been keeping them. We've got a whole bunch back at base. Cool. Water hole or air hole. That makes this much easier. We do have all the diving gear on, so we can dive quite well. There's lots of junk down here that I'd like to come back for, though. I'll need to... Oh, puffer fish. You are not making things easier, are you? Come here. If those things get close enough to you, they pop. They're basically the equivalent of those things in Minecraft that explode and uh, kill you and are a real annoyance. It's the hissing noise that really gets to you, though. Oof, you have got to be kidding me. How deep does this go? Uh, I better keep an eye on our oxygen meter, actually. Oh, I'm seeing bubbles. Perfect. This, I think this is the deepest I've ever gone so far. Uh, and we really have to come back for the scrap here. There is so much of this stuff. Oh, yeah. I got a bit too close. I counted three instead of two. Oh my god, how many puffer fish are down here? This is going to give us tons of biofuel. Or maybe food, I'm not sure. I can see another puffer fish. This is... Ugh, great. I'm pretty sure that I can see bubbles coming out from down below, so we should be fairly safe to go down and up into that container. One. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. What's this? Uh, the infirmary key, blueprint for the metal detector, and picked up a zipline part. Well, I can look at that. So, we've got two zipline parts, two battery charger parts, and an infirmary key. What was that blueprint they gave us? We're supposed to have the metal detector here somewhere. I am not seeing it. I probably have misplaced it, or I'm just being blind. You know what? Probably requires research. All right, let's get to harvesting stuff. There is loads of good junk down here. Well, this bridge looks like fun. I think this is the one that caught me the last. <laughs> Bugger. Right. This time, this time, third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Yes, easy peasy. I. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> right. Nope. Bees, that is perfect. We shall grab you while we're here. We've also brought ourselves the metal detector just in case that's going to be useful. Uh, come here. Nope. Datos Experiment Journal, attempt 733. Wow. Pa helped me weld the rocket together, and Sanjay borrowed some fireworks to get it started. Pa had to apologize to everyone for the explosion. I don't get it. It was just a test. What an overreaction. They would have taken my tools if Sanjay hadn't helped me put out the fire. Ah. <sighs> Good help us, Sanjay. So, by putting explosive powder in this... That's, uh... That's cool. Did it actually leave anything behind for us to use? No. 
What the hell? Something landed over there. Oh, I've been on that island. Now I have to go back. I got to the top of that. There was nothing there. And I'm like, oh, this is terrible. I'll just... Ah, oh, never mind. I'll be back. Just give me a minute. I got to trek over to the over there. All right. All the way back up to the top. And we have a zipline part. Excellent. And Major Tom. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I get you. I get you. So that gives us the zipline part. That means all we have to do is go back up to... Oh, no. We have to go back up to the top on the other side again. And there's the assembly thing for the zipline. Okay. I, I did a little bit of a detour to, to get all of the uh, mining underwater done. And now we have zipline tool. You can now research zipline tool. And that gives us the blueprint for it. I don't think we can make it right now. We might have to go back to the boat. Yep. I think we do have to go back to the boat to craft it. That's okay. Uh, how do we get back to the boat the fastest way possible? Back at the research table. Yeah, there it is. Zipline tool. Equipping it allows you to ride on ziplines. Thank you very much. Zipline. Okay, now we can make our own ziplines. And fireworks can be painted when placed on the raft. Okay, we've also gained access to the metal detector. Which I haven't figured out how to use yet, but I figure I just followed the lights. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that one. For now, let's uh, create ourselves a zipline tool. This is not that bad. 15 plastic, 5 scrap, 1 hinge, and a bolt. Done. Uh, oh, please tell me this thing doesn't wear out, and I should probably drink some water. On the top of the island, we can see several zipline adjacent things, like the mayor's house, which, yeah, whatever, we've explored that area over there. But over here, we can see the medical facility, and according to this little journal entry here, we do have the infirmary key. And that does look like an infirmary over there. So how do we get there is the question. Is this thing automatic, or... Yeah, never mind, we just hit E. Ah, space to jump off. Got it. Okay, that seems fairly straightforward, and we're on the correct island, and there's bees. And a boar. Oh, or, does that look more like a pig? Wait, do we get pigs in this, or is that thing going to attack us? I suppose we'll find out shortly. Let's just uh, continue our exploration. How are you doing? Nope. Porky's going to try and kill us. Come on. Well, that guy seemed like a very weak sauce pig. Eh? Oh, beast! Exit! This thing's got three yell uh, three oh, we're almost at another green. Okay. Let me just start digging. Um What are you? Uh scrap plastic. Jeez, a whole bunch of junk. That's actually pretty cool. And there's more. Oh, never mind. There's a kid. Yeah, I'll kill the piggy. Healing salve? Cool. And medical facilities here? Well, I mean, we call them facilities. More like a medical tent. Your waiting room looks um, rustic. All right, let's see. Where is... Never mind. What do you got for us? Titanium ore? Two titanium ore, a bolt, classic cassette, and explosive powder. That stuff is totally worth it. And there's another one on this island somewhere. I'll have to go find that later. But for now, let, let's continue on. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, you, what are... Yeah, no, we've been in here. Let's go up. Hello. I just feel kind of weird, though, bursting into places holding a machete. Pick up Mayor's chest key. Okay. Mm, I'll pick up your note in a minute. I want to see what else is here before I have to deal with that. Pick up crate. Glass, bolt, hinge, biofuel, recipe for barbecue. Pretty sure you got the barbecue. Ah, damn it. I think I'm going to toss the copper or I know it sounds weird, but I've just, I've got loads of it at home. Could also toss the rope. Yeah, copper or can go. Hey, what do you got for us? It's been three days. Stuck in the shack, sick as a dog. I don't think I can treat anyone in my condition and these people know it. I asked them to leave me here. It's the pigs. For weeks they've acted erratic. I've been blind to it. I didn't even notice the butchers getting sick. It all started when Olaf Wilkstrom arrived, and I do not see it as a coincidence. Yeah, Olaf genetically engineered the pigs, the genetic engineering made people sick. How Olaf is not sick is beyond me. I, like, he doesn't seem like the genetic engineer type. He seems more like a crazed lunatic. 
All right, we've got the mayor's key, which means we can probably go to the mayor's house. Which, yeah, we just got to zip line back over. I can see the mayor's house from over there. So if we zip line back, hold on, over here. Oh, actually. Yeah, no, there's nothing there. Eh, and I just got to remember to hit space at the end. There we go. Perfect. Now, mayor's house. I think it was over here somewhere. Beautiful. Come here, buddy. Huh. I mean, not that I was expecting something grand, but, uh... Oh, cool. Top hat. Oh, god damn it. Plastic can go. Keep the nails, keep the dirt. Rope can go. What do you got for us here? Ah! Engine controls. You can now research any... I, I have no idea what those do. Speed, maybe? Requires three battery charger parts, which I don't have. How do I not have the... Just, I'll keep looking. I'll keep looking. Oh, I found them. I found them at last, the battery charger parts. They were... But well, that's the place where we uh, we go from everywhere. And it was just... It was off here to the side. I never checked up here. I somehow missed it. Time to go back to the mayor's place. Uh, assuming I can still see in the... You know what? I brought lights with me tonight. No, I put the lights away again, didn't I? I thought I'd have no need for them anymore. Ah, uh, finally, okay. You can now research the battery charger, I think. I think that's the last thing we needed here, was it? Uh, no. We need something else. We're at Caravan Town, but we need another location to go to. So where is it? Well, there's a crate up here. Hopefully that helps. Nope. Never mind. Just gotta find the next note. It's around here somewhere, I know it. Yep, there we go. New note added. Excellent. That's gotta be it, right? Yep. Tag... Tangara. Okay, Tangara, we're gonna... Actually, no. First, we're gonna upgrade our boat. We've got battery chargers, finally. We can start going a little bit nuts. And we can maybe explore the last of this island. You know what? I don't care about the last of this island. Right, we have everything we need from here. It's time to leave. In fact... Where's that going to push us? That's going to push us straight forward. We need to hang a left around this island. All right, actually, a right might be easier. One second, I've got to, I've got to turn our little barge. Wait, wait, ooh, 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 ooh. and then I got to reverse the engines. I put the engines in reverse so we can get away from the island. But now I think it's time we go forward. We have plenty of time to catch. Well, we have all the materials we're going to need for a while to come. I think. Hey, Bruce, how you doing? Missed you, buddy. So, after getting away from the island for a bit, it's time to do some upgrades to the raft. The two things we gain access to are the battery charger and the engine controls. Now, the battery charger I'm very excited for, but the engine controls sounds wonderful. Oh, and uh, by request, we have put in a table for the counter. This is the tile counter for the amount of tiles we have on our raft. Hey, Bruce, how you going? I thought he was about to take a nibble. And I think that looks quite nice. It keeps it right there, and uh, now we just need the main controls to be right here as well. However, we construct those. Yeah, steering wheel and engine controls. Engine controls just require... Yeah, we've got all that stuff in storage. One circuit board, two bolts, uh, six titanium ingots, and some scrap. Done! Now, let's check this down right here. Eh... Uh, huh. I have no idea what any of these do. I suppose I'll figure it out? Yeah, right there should be golden. What are you? So, this turns on and off the engines. I think this uh, reverses or forwards the engines, and this brings up the anchor. Excellent! That means we don't have to move and all that stuff will be taken care of. Then all we gotta do is put together battery charger. Where are you? Yeah, scrap circuit board, titanium... Yeah, we got all of those somewhere. Actually, I take it back. We are missing a titanium ingot, which is mildly annoying. I probably should have built this one first. We're just short by one titanium ingot. We, we can find another one. Uh, crank up the anchors. Uh, do we need the engines? You know what? I'm going to leave the engines as they are. We're going to drift with the current. It's actually just cheaper. That, that did not seem to work. Do I have to hook something up? Ah, I see the problem here. We have the stationary hang anchor. We don't have the advanced anchor. I think the advanced anchor is necessary for this to work with it. So we're just going to have to manually use the anchor for now. 
However, this island up ahead looks like a large one, and it does look like it's got a shop, which means... You know what? I'm going to make another battery. We're going to chuck out some more scrap, and we're going to buy some titanium ingots. I wonder how many of these seagulls I've killed at this point. It's just these rats of the sky. I hate them so much. The amount of crops they have nibbled on, its it's been more of an annoyance than anything else, but it's just... I don't like them. All right. And let's see if we can grab some more scrap. I think we're just about ready to stop. I do need to actually get this up on the floor. I think I want to get our cockpit up another floor so we don't have all of this junk in the way. It makes it hard to steer or hard to see when we're getting close to an island and when we should stop. You know what I mean? I presume us, well, all the islands we have explored have cranked open some things because I'm now seeing those uh, pigs around on this island. I've never seen one of the pigs or one of those piggy things on the large islands before. Where are you? There we go. Whoop. Come here. These things seem a lot weaker than the other pigs we were facing before. Three hits kills them. They also get stunned, as in when they get hit by an arrow, they run away. So I, I don't know why they've gotten weaker. Uh, maybe it's just they're now an extra enemy type. Hey, hey, hey come here, come here. Nope. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, got him. Never mind. I am loving this detector. That gives us the titanium more we need. We don't even have to buy any. I mean, I'm still going to buy the titanium more, but that actually makes things a lot simpler. Any other... No, uh, I think there was only one batch on this island. Maybe that's the limit. This is where we purchased the advanced scarecrow. It cost us eight trash cubes. Totally worth it. Uh, this is where we're going to buy three titanium ore, which, yes, we definitely want. This combined with a battery is going to get us a lot more titanium ore. I want to upgrade the raft an awful lot. Plus, oop, there's Bruce. How you doing, buddy? Yep. Still the same as always, I see. I swear, these things just keep regenerating faster than I can get rid of them. Just stop it! I mean, don't get me wrong, you make great biofuel, but it's just the, the constant murderage of singles. With those titanium ingots smelted up, we can finally afford the battery charger. Ugh. Now all of these batteries we've got, where is it? Right here, won't go to waste. We can do something with them. Maybe not immediately, but soon. I'll just put them back here somewhere. Hmm, whereabouts? What I want to do is stick some piping on the back of this, but it seems a little bit finicky. Hmm. So what we're going to do instead is try sticking a wall on there first. I think this is how it works. And then, can we? Oh, no. We, we need to have something below this. Fine. We'll figure it out. No, actually. We can plant it on top of this one. Does that mean we can then... Yep. And done. Perfect. Uh, that means we can take you and... All right, that means it's biofueled up. This thing should now be capable of charging batteries. We just have to stick them in there, right? Uh, one battery. Two. That's it. And they got to charge. Takes a bit of time. We've got to make sure they've got biofuel, all the usual. And in the meantime, we can always just, uh, yeah, here, have some raw drumsticks, why don't you? Three raw drumsticks and a bit of honey. And you can make us some more biofuel. Those look like some charged batteries to me. They've gone green. Yeah, perfect. In that case, we just chuck in another couple of batteries. Okay, if that's the case, I'm then going to have to move those things over here. The, uh... Oh, the recyclers? Actually, no. I'll leave the recyclers over here by our storage. I've made this ter I've made this really inefficiently. I should have the storage probably back there near the biofuel and the recycling, but I'm not moving it now. It would take too much effort. And is that a big island or a small island ahead? That is a small island. Nah, not bothered. We might stop and pick up some iron though. Well, it's time to finish armoring up our ship. So that means we're going to need a whole bunch of nails to good it. We're going to need about well, it was 40 nails. As you can see, it's pretty expensive, and that's not. I don't think that's even going to be enough for what we're planning, but. It should at least get us started. Uh, uh, okay, over here, I think I'm going to simplify things a bit. Problem is, it's just too expensive, and I want to get things done. So we're going to armor plate up you, and then we're going to get rid of the wings. Yeah. We're just uh, simplifying things and making them cheaper. Yeah. You can go there, armor up that. Oof. And I think we have to armor up those two as well. I've got some extra redundant armor in there, but who cares? Oop. And I think we're about to crash. Oops. Just, uh, maybe stay here for a second. But, plan anyway. You, 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 and you. Done. 
And then let's maybe grab the other side. I want to make sure that I don't have to... Yeah, you can go. And then a few more out here. I want to make sure all of the attacks are going to be in as localized an area as I can figure. And... Done. I think that's all the wings finished. And one more. So we're short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... Yeah, I, I put some, I've wasted a whole bunch of stuff, but that's okay. We have iron down here, and with that iron and the scrap we've got, we should be able to finish this. So, now that we can recharge batteries, that means we can finally get rid of all this junk that we've got lying around the place. Thing is, we've been collecting all of this trash, and, well, I do have a section over here, let's say, where we keep plastic. And then once we've got a full storage of plastic, which we have now, I then start dumping all the excess stuff over here into these bins, and once the and like these bins are starting to fill up as well. So what I'm doing is just trashing it all in here. This stuff turns into trash cubes. The trash cubes we can spend to buy titanium or whatever we want, or even scrap. This is just going to make sorting out our uh, our raft that little bit faster. There is an awful lot of pressing though. We have to dump an awful lot of resources in here. But now that we have rechargeable batteries, we don't have nearly as much stressful things to worry about. So I am going to wait till that runs out of battery and then rotate it around. I want two of them here and keep them going consistently. Alright, let's, uh... Yeah, I think it's time we got out of here. Let's maybe reverse. Hmm. Perfect. Then... we could just crank up the anchor. Nice! I do like this new steering system. Yeah, you. Turn us around a bit, come on. That is actually the worst way to turn, but it's fine. And then we go forward. Right, let's get out of here. Right, looks like we're just about drifting. This flag tells us which way the current is going, which way the wind is blowing, so we're just going to let that carry us. Turn off the engines. And then we just get back to collecting all the junk down here. Oh, and armor plating up the rest of the ship. Well, that looks really nice and soothing. We have three scrap machines just working away all day. Their only job is to scrap up all of the scrap we're finding. Everything we get gets turned into cubes. Those cubes get dumped into... Oh, actually, sorry, I can't access a chest while I'm fishing. But uh, those cubes get dumped in here. We're already up to 17 and we can, you know, convert all of those to whatever we want once we find a shop. Finding shop's pretty easy. All we do is go in here and, well, see those big greens? Those big greens are big islands, and those big islands always have a shop. So, I think we're just about ready. Oh, and down here we have, well, we've armoured up everything. We've got the last of the iron we needed on the last iron island, and we are completely Bruce-proof. So, we don't have to worry about Bruce. We also have the Scarecrow up above, so we don't have to worry about anything like that. And yes, I am well aware this is a very, very ugly raft. I love it. That's, that's the way it should be. Nice, ugly, but functional. Ugh. More sky rats. Come here. Now, I know it looks like I've ran out of drumsticks here. There's, there's none left in that, but that's okay. I've been killing them for a long, long time. We got plenty of spare drumsticks for these things. We can feed a lot of biofuel into this. Took me a minute to figure out a few of the, uh, the minor subtleties of this. For example, oh, actually grab those. The, uh, the dial to tell how full this is, is on the rear, which is a pain in the butt. However, I think we can extend this across. See, what we can do is grab this guy and put on a beam. And I need to grab some nails. And once you've got nails, you can put beams like this. Which allows you to extend this out quite a bit. And we don't need it too huge, we just want to be able to step behind this thing, so... Yeah, and we can't... Hmm. Oh yeah, there's something about pipes. Yeah, I'll figure it out later. But... For now, that should allow us to at least get behind this and see what the dial reads. Because I think there's an annoying thing where if you try and fill it while it's almost full but not quite, you can waste some of the biofuel. So I'm going to wait till at least it's halfway before I start chucking biofuel in. And we've got we've got 18 containers of this stuff. I, I think we're going to be good, at least for a while longer. Actually, sorry. We have 20 containers of this stuff. We have plenty of honey. Damn it. Sea rat. Uh, we have plenty of honey coming in, and we also have an absolute button of sand. So, sand we can turn into glass. So I think for now, we're good. We've got everything we need. We're going to stop at one more island. Um, hmm. Never mind. We will stop at one more green island once we've run into one, and then when we do, we'll 
go to the shop, buy a bunch of titanium ingots. Actually, do we need them? Actually, you know what? Let's not bother. Let's move on with the next mission. I think our base is looking pretty solid. 7747. There we go. Now, where are you? Uh, straight ahead. That actually makes things very simple. All right, then. Rotate slightly to the left. I don't think we even need... Yeah, we don't even need to turn on the engines for this one. Well, that's new. It looks like a dome city. Oh, okay, maybe not a city. A domed village? I mean, not like medieval dynasty village, but like... Mid-sized uh, town? A few hundred people? I, I don't know. All right, uh, let's get ready to stop. Maybe... Ah, we'll drive right up to it. Might as well. We'll drive right up to it and figure out a way. Ooh, there looks like a door right about there. Or there. Yeah, we got this. That's looking about close enough. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Perfectly close. Perfect, perfect. No need to worry about anything. All right, let's top up on supplies and get ready to have a, a quick look about our new looting location. What's the bets there's no one in here either, except for horrific mutants and birds that are going to try and kill us? Uh, judging by that sort of arrow symbol, uh, we go left. Even unless someone's trolling us, which I wouldn't put it past them. Okay. Any entrance around here? Hmm. I might need to build my raft up a little bit. Okay, city. What have you got going on in here? If you have to build up to that, it might... Actually, that should be pretty easy, but I'm just going to follow the arrows. I assume the arrows stop at some point. Unless they're going around in a circle, which could be embarrassing. Well, looks like we've located the entrance. This should be pretty handy. This place looks far less uh, derelict than all of the places we've encountered so far. Hopefully we've got some shiny tech. Oop, that's about perfect. Uh, crank off the engines, and let's just drop anchor. I think that's about perfect. All right. Let's, uh... Well, I suppose let's go looting, I suppose. Oh, and we don't have to worry about Bruce ever nibbling on our ship again. Or the birds. We're just... Yeah, we can take our time. Uh... Okay. Oh, no. There's going to be rats in here. You can tell. Yep. Well kind of expected this. Plantation, elevator access, surface access, and lots of bugs. Well, I'm guessing elevator and surface access is in green, so we go that way. Door is locked from the other side. Well, of course it is. Yeah, this place has got that lovely atmosphere going on. Nothing. Nothing. Loading bay, storage area, generator. I'm gonna get lost so quickly here. Cafeteria! Cool. Let's go grab some snacks. Probably where the rats are. It's gotta be, right? Cafeteria, rats, seems about normal. Yep. Where? Oh, there he is. Come on. Wow, that's three arrows? Four. It took less to kill the pig. Oh, and these guys are going to respawn as well, so let's make sure we clear out every area we've been in. We do not want to be backtracking, if at all possible, because we'll then have to kill more of those things. And I did bring a spare bow. Yep, brought a spare bow. We're good for now. Still the cafeteria. Okay, cafeteria. Hm. Nice place you got going on here. Ambiance is terrible. Uh, oof. Cleanliness is definitely a Z. What are you? You know what, let's just get a nice wide open area where we can plug you full of arrows. Done. Yeah, pleasure as that was. Let's do the place out. Ooh, notes! Excellent. Captain Tully ordered us to push the engines to their limits. We're trying to outrun a fleet of rafts or something. It's going to overheat the reactor. I sent a message up the tower. Tully doesn't care. I hope you're faring better, Hannah. Much better. Oh, it's the other guy who was talking to Hannah on the boat. Oh! You have jumping attacks now, that's new. Dies quicker, though. Eh, good to know. 
All right, I think we've cleared most of this place out. Let's see if there's anything else worth salvaging. Generator part. Oh, great. That means we have to collect a whole bunch of generator parts. I'm definitely going to miss a bunch. And then after I've missed a bunch of generator parts, I'll have to go back through the map finding them all. Our second generator part. Well, that's good. Who leaves these generator parts just lying about the place? I mean, it really feels like someone's being just a bit neglectful in their job. Uh, generator is to the left. So is the storage area. Okay, we're going to stop at the storage area first, see if they've got a generator part, because normally this comes in threes. And if the storage area has the part, then we can go to the generator, and you're going to be locked, yep. Yeah. Hey, storage area first, storage area, plantation generator. Storage area. Where's the rat? There's always a rat in here. Oh, never mind planks, don't need them. I don't know why I'm grabbing these, but you never know. Crane controls and generator, we'll give that a second. Hey! Third generator part. What do you got? Cooked beet, watermelon... Watermelon and head broth. Huh. I think I could have made head broth at some point. I just wasn't bothered. And generator online. Picked up item. We got some cooked potatoes. Hell yes. Uh, what are you? And a cooked beet. Oh. What are you? Where do we want to go? I think we want to get out there. Or is it? No. There's the exit over there. Oh, great. I think I know what this puzzle is. We have to move the boxes around until we get everything where we want it to be. Hmm. Oh no. We can only move one box at a time. You monsters! You absolute monsters! <laughs> so what we can do is grab one box and go, oh, say move you uh, one tile to the left. Yep. Yeah. And then drop you down and then move something else. Oh, this is gonna fry my noodle. Give me a second here. I've decided to start over here on the left. Um, yeah, let, let's see how it goes, I suppose. I also want to gain access to whatever that is down there. So maybe we can get both of these while we're at it. That would be nice, but uh, I'm just going to start faffing around with this until I get it. So I expect a huge fast forward here as I mess this up repeatedly and eventually, eventually figure it out will be the theory. Right, that should get me to that far? I want to see what that area is, or if it's actually worthwhile. Huh. Well, that was not nearly as painful as I thought it was going to be. Maybe. Uh, in here? Ah! Box it. Find the secret behind the boxes. Machete. Nice. Titanium ore. Titanium ore. More titanium. Bolt and scrap. Glass, fine goo, bolt, scrap, bolt, uh, titanium ore, more titanium ore. Yes, that was worth the grind. There's nothing else we want in here, is there? In that case, we can just, well, start repurposing these blocks so we can get over there towards the other exit. Yet, yeah, still can't get up there. They've made sure you can't jump high enough. They've put some sort of invisible roof, unfortunately. I think that works. Wait, no. No, wait, no, I think it should. We should be able to pass right through there, through all of those, uh, in there, in, and then there's some empty gap space, and then we can go through into that section. Yeah, that was... It was just a lot of pressing of buttons. And too much thinking. Come on, let's go. Uh, through here... Excellent! No, wait, no. Back to bow. You are water pipes. Ooh, that needs to save effort. Done. People upstairs are already upset about the extreme rationing. Now we're at the mercy of the waves. And those rafts on the horizon are coming closer by the hour. I'm sealing up the reactor now. I don't care what Captain Tully says. I really could have used you here, Hannah. Right, so it sounds to me like the rafts are headed this way. The rafts are going to have Olaf and his mutant army of monsters who he's going to unleash onto this place. Olaf just seems like a sort of a mobile plague. I hope... Uh, are we going to get to shoot him at the end? That would be nice, I suppose. Right, surface access. Well, that would be good. Well... That might not be good? Hmm... To run or drown? I think I'm willing to, like, stay here. Yep, 
Yeah, this could be tricky. We do have the rebreather thing, but... Perfect. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Why can't we crawl up any further? Come on. I know there's a ladder there, but... Is that it? Oh, come on. That is... That's a tease. Oh, it opened this door. Never mind. Right, so we can go through this section. That's our air pocket back there, and more air pockets. Okay. Underwater section. Got it. I wonder, could the rats swim? Hmm. Okay, pretty sure we've been here before. Generator, storage area, plantation. Storage area is now accessible. Ah. Good to know, good to know. Okay, this is just going to be me exploring around, figuring out where I'm supposed to be going now that the place is flooded. Never mind, I think I got it. It's the storage area. This this area here, this ladder, we couldn't gain, get up it before because it was on the ground. But now that we've got water... Well, for a second. Damn it. We are able to get up to the plantation area. I think it is? Yep. Okay, let's continue exploring. And looking out for more rats. And notes. They're screaming upstairs. After the captain opened fire on the rafters, a damn riot broke out. Some supported Tully's orders, others really did not. A smaller raft made its way into the water entrance. But there was only a kid on board. His parents were sick, I think. The poor boy isn't saying much. Tangaroga's a lost cause. We're getting out of here. Right. This gets more and more depressing as we go along. Well, great. This looks like fun. I'm looking at it and there looks to be a pattern. On. Off. On. Off. And that's it. There's no... Normally they have like a pulse thing, but nope, not this time. Right? Okay, we're good. Uh... Cool. Bananas. Uh, don't know if I care. I'll take them anyway. Strawberries? Yeah, they're pretty tasty. Requires three tape. Right, okay. Look, would you look at that? There's one tape over there. I don't know. One duct tape. No, one no, 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 no! The entire ecosystem is ruined! Uh, I've warned Captain Tully about this for weeks now. My contract doesn't allow me to tell anyone else, and it's eating me up inside. The banana plants won't bear nearly enough fruit, not to mention the infestations. We'll be starving by the end of the year, if not sooner. Right, so they kind of, everyone didn't bring enough food. Just genius plans by everyone. Now that's all the tape. Now we just gotta get back there. I really hope that that electricity is like, just one of those ones that tickles you a bit if it hits you. If it's one of those instant deaths, that would be very uncomfortable. Okay, I am being super cautious because electricity in most games is like, you die if you touch it. And if we die, we lose half the junk we got on us, which would be really unpleasant. Oh, come on, serious? I, I thought that actually was gonna... Oof. This place is nerve-wracking. Mm, more bananas. Cool. Would you look at this? Is this going to... Yeah, that's gonna require tape as well. Oh my god. Fine, I will find you your tape. Things have gone quiet. Security team still going patrols in their ridiculous golf carts, trying to keep some semblance of order. I heard the rafters let loose some type of rat. Oh, and they strapped tasers on all the butler bots. It's like some kind of dumb guerrilla war upstairs. We're fixing up a boat, but there's no engine. The raft kid thinks we could take one of the golf cart engines. It's not a bad idea. Captain Tully and the investors are still up in the tower. I say leave them there to rot. Well, this looks 
sort of, well, post-apocalyptic, but not in that pool. Who are you? I wonder if, yeah, no, they're the bots he was talking about with the tasers. Let's, yep, uh, arrows? How effective will they be? Ah, grand, grand. Come on, come on, come on. Hmm, I wonder what kind of scrap you get out of a robot, like a butler robot. Keycard? Oh, the keycard was in their head. Cool, okay, so we got the arrows back, we got a keycard, now we just... Actually, I wonder if all of them have a keycard. That seems like a lot of keycards if they all have them, or is it just special ones? Well, only one way to find out, I suppose. And headshots don't really seem to make any difference in this game, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, still four. And yeah, another keycard. Right, let's go exploring. I'm going to stick to sort of the left-hand side and see what happens. Oh, that's what the key cards are for. So I presume... Hmm, I wonder how many buildings there are that are actually accessible. There's quite a few... Well, it's got one floor. Okay, so they haven't actually filled out the whole building. Yeah, no, it makes sense. This is a pretty small dev team. Like, pretty much I think all of the crafting survival ones are indeed developed... Nope, nope. What the... Why is he not co I, I don't think he can pass into the elevator. He's just trapped out there. That's, um... Unfortunate. Like, I, I was thinking, oh no, we're trapped in a small space with these things. And it's like, no, no, he, he can't even get into the elevator. He, he was waiting for us to step out. He was very polite. Politest rat I've ever seen. Um... Wow, for the end of the world... Duct tape, yes. For the end of the world? They were having a nice, like, look at this place. This is... This is nicer than where I live. What the hell? End of the like was was this like the rich people? Oh, yeah, never mind. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go loot everything. Let's see if there's anything worthwhile, and hopefully some more duct tape. I recognize the look of that door. I bet there's more than a few of them around here. All right, let two floors. Oh, the devs are really spoiling us with this one. And any rats? Any? Mm, no, never mind. Well. Time is of the essence, and we need to find... Actually, we can go back underground. Pretty sure we're back near where we started. Or are we... Oh, God, I can't... Nope. Calm down. Just... Die. That gets us all our arrows and the card back. Now, was this where the underground was, where we came out of? Um, yeah, it definitely was. That means we've got the necessary tape right now. Yeah, we got five pieces of tape. Oop. Let's go down, find this tape thing, and tape it up. And that should... Actually, wait, does this actually matter? I'm not even sure. I would like to tape it up now so that we have, well, a route home. In fact, it might be an idea to go back home and do a quick restock. Bring more food, more water, more everything. Uh, what does that do? Oh, come on. Never mind. Opened up a side door. Run! Oh, great. There's more to side doors. Yeah, I messed up. I, I need three more tape. Uh, I think I'm going to need to acquire an awful lot more tape before I come back here, just in case. Now, let's get out of here. I'm going to head back to the raft, grab a lot more water and a lot more food. Checking the time, I'm just coming up on the hour mark again somehow. This game just eats your time. Oh, and I really should shave those llamas. N never mind, I'll shave the llamas later. Uh, for now, uh, I think I'm going to cut this out here. Next up, we are going to be plowing through the rest of this. We've managed to gain access to at least the ground floor, and I presume, uh, based on how it's been so far, we're probably going to have to get to that bubbly thing at the top. Now, we could just build a whole bunch of raft stuff up there, but that seems like... Not how it's intended to be done, and I'd prefer to just, you know, experience the game in all its weirdness. Anyway, this is uh, some more after. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck.